Now, different religions have different ways in, in inaugurating their places of worship. How do the Hindus officially open a newly constructed temple? That in this week's edition of our weekly feature segment, My Culture, with Jackie Wambiru. Take a look. Friday evening at 7 p.m., Hindu worshippers converge at a constructed temple in Thika, Kiambu County. The worshippers have traveled from far and wide to witness the inauguration of this temple, BAPS Shri Swaminarayan Mandir at Mogumoini. When you build a temple in your local village, in your local town, it increases the life of the town, of the village, for a very, very long time. For one hour, it is song and prayers. Saturday at 10 a.m., the sad grooming, a spiritual teacher, leads the worshippers in prayers at the temple ahead of its inauguration. The saffron robes worn by sad guru represent a pure, auspicious, and simple life. It also bears the color of fire, which symbolizes the fire of renunciation. <laughs> Women and men sit in separate sections in the temple. This is to prevent corruption of the mind, to keep purity of the mind. This is in no way any form of discrimination against either men or women. Both are treated equally uh, in the eyes of God. They sit cross-legged on the floor in a position known as suksana or lotus as a sign of respect and humility as they perform rituals to cleanse the temple. <laughs> Ni kwa sababu ya kuonyesha tuna nyenyekea na hata ni mahali takatifu so inahitaji tukae chini tukiwa karibu na Mungu. They offer prayers known as yagna amidst fire using rice, flowers, ghee as offerings because they are pure and an unviolent way of sacrifice. They then take a two hour break. <laughs> The worshippers then commence a grand procession in the streets where the deity to be installed in the temple is placed on decorated chariots and taken round the town. Grand procession, that's called the Nagar Yatra. And uh, the reason why this Nagar Yatra, that is the grand procession, is conducted is because the deities which are going to be installed in the temple are taken out on beautifully decorated floats so that they can bless uh, the city, they can bless the city of Thika, they can bless the residents and they can bless businesses that are on the roadside. On the chariot, a deity dubbed Murti is on board. This is aimed at blessing the town and business establishments to trigger their flourishing. The sad guru cruises in the procession in a classic. The men proceed ahead of the women doing songs that vary from those by women. These books are our scriptures and we are trying to show that we respect them so much that they are on our head. This, this is the authority we follow, the scripture. The festival culminates in the installation of Murti, the deity. Spiritual, a lot of social activities happen under the guidance of the temple, doing local social activities, uh, for example, tree plantations, for example, looking after the poor people, feeding the poor people, uh, looking after the needy people. These are the, some of the social activities that happen under the tutelage, under the guidance of our Guru, who actually has inspired this temple.